there, Jessica. Well, this year's been interesting. There's been a lot of good things and some bad things. 2017 saw the last year of you being at uni. There was a lot of stress with this, especially with your dissertation. How you managed to write 10,000 words about a subject that you thought you knew about is beyond me. And why did you pick the most morbid subject you could think of? But oh well, it all paid off in the end, didn't it? You got a really good grade, so well done. You also got to fulfil one of your dreams by writing a play with one of your best friends about a subject that's really close to your heart. I know the amount of stress that went into this and you managed to do it, so well done for that too. There was a lot of emotions at the very end of it, but that's understandable. I know you had so much fun at uni. I mean, look at all the pictures you'd taken. Over the two years you were there, you took something like 4,000 pictures. And you also took loads of videos. But please don't delete these. They're important and they'll be good to look back on. Congratulations on your graduation. I know you never thought you'd ever get to go to uni, let alone graduate from it. I know it wasn't ideal having to come back from uni in May and then go over again for your graduation. But you had a good day. You were surrounded by your friends and everyone was celebrating their achievements. Well done. I'm proud of you. I know coming back from uni was really hard for you, especially because you had to leave all your friends behind. And after three months of nothing, you finally found a job. A really good job. A job that you're actually quite good at. You're a support worker. We always knew that we had a natural ability to help people and now it shows through your work. And also you're training to be a classroom assistant in the school that you used to attend whenever you were younger. And excuse me, why did you take the notion of doing a half marathon? A girl who can't even run the length of herself? Okay, I know you didn't run, you sped walked. At least that's what you told everybody. And I know that it was really helpful to have your brother there to spur you on. Well done. You even got a medal for it. And who knows, maybe you'll do it again this year. Okay, let's get to the serious stuff. You said last year that you weren't going to let anybody walk all over you. So why did you let it happen again this year? Why did you allow yourself to be put into situations that made you uncomfortable? Why did you allow people to walk all over you? It's because you're too nice. It's because you care too much about what other people think. Which leads me on to this. Why do you feel the need to please other people? Why should it matter what other people think of you? You're constantly looking for approval from people who don't even care about you. You're looking for approval for the way you look and the way you act. I really don't know why this is. We lost a lot of close friends this year. Friends that we've known f for years that just decided that our friendship wasn't worth it anymore. But don't blame yourself. You didn't do anything wrong. It was their problem, not yours. But let that be a learning experience because now we know how people are capable of treating us. And hopefully we won't fall into the same trap this year. And please, for the love of God, don't let some guy come between you and your self-worth. You came out of a relationship at the start of this year and for some reason you still wanted to be with this guy. You did everything you could just to be with him and for six months he just manipulated you. He knew how you felt about him and he knew how much pain it was putting you through. And he just threw all that back in your face. And for some reason you still felt the way that you felt about him. You know how much you cried over him and you know how much it hurts, so please, for your own sake, do not put yourself through that again this year. But it's over and done with now, so take this as a learning experience. Never, ever, let someone make you feel like you're worthless. You are not worthless. We came out of another relationship in the summer. It was a pretty short relationship, but there were problems from the start. You know what happened. You know what he did. And he knows what he did. So why did you let it get that bad again? Why were you only there when he needed you but not the other way around? Yes, he was very good to you so we can't fault him for that. But you know that there were problems there and it wouldn't have worked out anyway so it was a blessing that it ended. I would like to thank these two guys for allowing me to realise what I'm worth. For allowing me to realise that I don't deserve to be treated like that. For making me realise what I am looking for in a guy. I would just like to point out that it wasn't all bad. There were some really good memories that were made with these guys and I did love them both very, very much. So if you guys are watching, thank you. I appreciate it. Now, 2018 needs to be different. 2018 needs to be our year. I'm not going to sit here and spout off different resolutions that we're going to need to abide by because we both know that you have no willpower and that's not going to happen. But here are some suggestions as to how we could make it our year. Number one, and I'm glossing over this, lose weight, moving on. Number two, 
Do something you've always wanted to do, but don't tell anybody about it. Make it a surprise. Number three, go to the theatre by yourself. Number four, stop letting other people's opinions bother you so much. Number five, be the type of person that we both know that you want to be. Number six, let love come to you. Stop trying so hard. If it'll happen, it'll happen. Number seven, be patient. Number eight, if an opportunity comes up, bloody well take it. No matter what it is, just take it. And number nine, love yourself. You need to do a hell of a lot more of it. Good luck. I'll check back again next year to see how you got on. Lots of love. Me.